This preview has been brought to you in part by Main Irish Airsoft. Okay, welcome back to another very cold Oddie's Airsoft. We're just about two weeks out from uh, Santa coming on his sleigh, giving us all some airsoft goodies, hopefully. Normally we review guns, we take them out into the uh, skirmish sites, give them a good runabout, see what we think of them, and then we come back and tell you. This is a preview because although I've had this out uh, to play with already, my camera decided to break down and uh, I didn't actually record any infield footage. So I'm going to do a little, pre little quick preview for you um, and then I'm going to do a proper review after Christmas when I have the time because this gun deserves a proper review. Now, <clears throat> as you know, we probably have been doing a lot of high-end AEGs uh, that come in around, I mean the Magpul Masada that I just reviewed I bought myself and it set me back just shy of 550 um, and that's in euros uh, it's an expensive gun and everyone knows we are pretty much in deep recession at the moment and money's tight so I wanted to have a look at a gun that was as cheap as I could find but uh, still have everything that a, a good AEG should have now, Main Irish Airsoft uh, have given me this gun to review. It's an APS. Um, it stands for Air, uh, Accuracy Pneumatics uh, Shooting. And um, the company that makes it really were a paintball company at first, and they branched off into the Airsoft. Now, this is a full metal gun, and it's retailing, if I'm right, don't quote me on this but I think it's just shy of 200 euro and it's full metal it also has a full blowback system I'm going to show you now um, the blowback is really really strong uh, very effective and uh, in game it really looks very very well there's a good weight to it very very solid build you're always going to find on cheap AEGs things that you don't like. There's very few in this. Stock is very, very solid. The mag that it comes with is uh, a 300 round mag. It's bog standard mag. You can use your own or any spares that you have. The one that it ships with is a little bit loose in the mag well. That said, the other ones I have, the G&G &G, uh, high cap mags that I use, uh, they fit in a lot more snugly and nice and tight. So. I would be using the G&G &G ones myself. Other than that, runs on 9.6 uh, nickel metal hydrate batteries. It's very, very solid. And the range, and this is where I'm really, really surprised. This gun ranges as good as any of the top AEGs on the market. The hop-up in it is excellent. Now, we swapped out the, um, the hop-up rubber that it shipped with for a guard of silicon. It, the reason being is it just um, it's designed for a, a stronger market and it's been downgraded to one joule. The softer hop up rubber seems to work a little bit better. So under advisement from Chris in MIA, we swapped it out. He does all of that if you need it done. So as I said, it was just a quick shout out before Christmas. Anybody looking to buy themselves a little toy to get a little bit of extra cash over the Christmas period and they want to have a spare gun or a brand new heavy metal one. Um, for the money, it cannot be faulted. Now, Mick from the Rats had bought the AK-47 version of the same gun made by the same company, and he is absolutely raving about it. He says it outranges nearly all of his other guns, which cost him a hell of a lot more money. So, if you wanted to, you could even buy this gun as a starter kit and then add extras to it for the, for the price that you're paying. You could pimp it out quite cheaply and for maybe 300 euro have yourself a very very nice looking little AEG so as I said you'll get a few full review of this in um, uh, in the new year at some stage when I get round to it <laughs> I'm running out of time as per usual so I would definitely have a look at this if you're in MIA pick one of these babies up they are really really good for the money Oddie's ass off out